This is a food storage center for Senegalese farmers. Empty. What was fit to eat has gone. What couldn't be stored has been rotting in the sun outside. There's plenty of farmland to grow food, but nowhere to keep them. It hurts me to see this waste. It's an embarrassment that we cannot store our own harvests, that we can't even afford a fridge to keep our crop. The children of these farmers are going hungry. This is the only proper meal of the day. A few beans and some rice. Their mother, Kumba Debi, adds an extra portion of onions. When you don't have meat or fish or any vegetables to give them, the onions make them feel like they're eating more than they actually are. And it slows the hunger down. The government says agriculture is a priority, but offers little support to farmers unlike in Europe, where farming is subsidized. The European Union has started to fund the building of storage facilities in Senegal, but there's one important element missing, electricity. The majority of communities are not on the grid. That's not a problem for European farmers who send in freshly stored veg when the Senegalese run out. This is where Kumba Debi comes to shop. The oranges over there are from Spain, and the carrots here are from France. The onions she uses to feed her children, so essential to Senegalese cuisine, look at the label, Holland. European farmers are making a profit from Senegal's inability to store its own produce. For six months of the year, Senegal imports Dutch onions. $50 million worth. It's good business for Dutch farmers. Senegalese traders also see a benefit and sell the produce on to West African markets. The imported variety is better because it's more resistant. It keeps for longer. They are in the same quality. The imported onions are more solid and people prefer them. Farmers here continue to struggle. They grow good crops, but can't store them. And there's huge waste. And so for families, it's a case of go hungry or go European. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, and Boro, Senegal.